It's a mysterious presence that looms over the highway between Cody and Yellowstone. The Smith Mansion is an eccentric architectural piece that was constructed log by log, bolt by bolt, by hand for 20 years until the engineer who designed and built the structure fell to his death from the second story in 1992. Since then, the mansion has kept watch over the Wapiti Valley, abandoned and mysterious. Then last year, the family of the designer, Francis Lee Smith, decided to put the building on the market, and remarkably, it sold within just a few months to a neighboring property owner. Scott Richard, the realtor who brokered the deal, took an innovative approach when he listed the Smith Mansion last summer. We created a video that generated over 100,000 views and drew worldwide attention to it. In doing so, we tracked down a lot of different people that were interested, filtered through all of them, and ultimately, before somebody else could buy it, a local Wyoming business, Mountain Lodging LLC, bought the property. Richard said his video received a lot of attention. I was contacted by a lot of different people, some of them with crazy ideas, some for reality TV shows to rehab it, uh, turn it into different things. But again, at the end of the day, it stayed right here in Cody with somebody that did appreciate the history behind this place. The new owners of the Smith Mansion also own the neighboring Green Creek Inn and RV Park, as well as the Holiday Lodge in Cody. Richard says he couldn't divulge the sale price, as Wyoming is a non-disclosure state, but the property, which sits on 10 acres on the North Fork Highway, was listed at $500,000 as of June of last year. He says the opportunity to be a part of the Smith Mansion story was irresistible. I've seen this building my whole life. I'm a fifth generation to Cody, Wyoming. And as a kid, I used to go up and to the Wapiti Valley here in North Fork and go skiing, sledding, and every time we would drive by this, I always knew I was halfway between Cody and Yellowstone. Richard says the future of the structure is uncertain, but the new owners recognize the historic value of the landmark. Right now, they're not 100% sure what it's going to be or how they're going to use it. What I can tell you is they do appreciate the history behind the structure. They're going to keep it. Nothing's going to change right away. And what they plan to do is still going to be part of that mystique, just like the structure. From Wapiti, I'm Wendy Core reporting.